Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a super long time since I've done a video. Uh, this is the first one I've done all year actually. So all the candles you see are what I've been burning for the whole six months. Um, it was just really crazy. I was trying to finish up school so I made it so that I had to finish school first before I could make any more candle videos, but now I'm all graduated. I just got my bachelor's in nursing, so super excited, and now I get to make videos again. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I have a few IKEA ones, like five of them, that I burned a while ago. So these are, I don't know how to say it, um, the name of them, it's like Swedish, but they're super affordable. Like this big one is only $4.99 and then the size down is $2.99 and then the one smaller than that is $1.99. So, because of the price and like the really classic look of the glass jar, just, I, I burned them like this. I should have taken off the stickers, but I really like the look of just a classic glass tumbler um, burning. Uh, so, that kind of made up for whatever, for them looking uh, pretty bad and not burning that well because it was just sometimes it's just nice to have a candle burning and not caring that it's not performing perfectly because of the money that you spent on it like Bath and Body Works or Yankee I want it to burn how it, a candle should burn because I paid good money for it but these is like whatever I guess that makes sense so this one is vanilla. I think it's just um, like a sweet vanilla. This one was my favorite, I think. Um, they don't throw very well. Like all of them don't throw very well, which also doesn't bother me because they're only a few dollars. But the vanilla one was good. It was my largest one. And then my this one also might be my favorite. It is hazelnut and chocolate. It smelled, this one threw, actually threw like um, maybe a four, which was the strongest throwing one. It smelled like the chocolate hazelnut mousse in like a chocolate layer, like tuxedo kind of cake, or like a tiramisu cake. It was actually really yummy. So yeah, you can see the burn. I don't know my lighting, I can't see. Let's see if that's better. Not really. But yeah, it looks horrible. But I enjoyed it. It was fine. This one was just a peach. It, like a artificial sweet peach. Um, not my favorite, but if you like peach, I don't really like peach candles. But if you do like peach, um, I would recommend it. And this one is this red raspberry. This one was the medium jar in so $2.99. They, it smells actually pretty good. Like a sweet, um, juicy, artificial raspberry. Um, not too tart, just pretty sweet. So that's this, and this one was really good. It is tropical pineapple. It's tropical. Um, you can taste, you can smell like a passion fruit, I think, with the pineapple. So I really, really like pineapple and tropical scents. So I would get this one again. Yeah. Yeah, if you leave them alone, like they burn bad while they're burning also, 
but if you leave them alone they do correct themselves and just let them be and they're really good ambiance candles which when it comes down to it most candles end up being ambiance candles like Yankees um, a lot of Goose Creek candles for me because they don't throw so they all end up being ambiance for ambiance but you don't have to pay the high price for them so put that aside my next is a random uh, better homes and garden Pretz strawberry pretzel bars I usually always burn my um, pink sugar berry but I I don't have any more because I burn like so many of them so I got this this also burned terrible just like all my other better homes and gardens I don't know how um, people burn better homes and gardens candles like if they burn well for other people because the only way I can get them to burn like to pull out is to double wick them like I'm trying to get it to focus can't really see oh my god I can smell it so strong just by taking the lid off you can kind of see two wicks so I just like pierce a hole from the star and I put another wick in it and then that's the only way I can get it to pull out um, but then it started to be like it started burning bad because uh, just one of the wicks was burning at the end and then I was like over it so anyways anyone let me know how their better homes and gardens works for them because I don't know how to burn them or how to get them to function so the smell yeah this one's a really strong one um, on cold the you kind of get all of it the like what is the cream and the bar it's like a I, I can't think of it at the moment sorry I'm off camera but you kind of get you get the artificial really strong strawberry a cream it's like a strawberries and cream mm. I can't remember if there's a pretzel note in it. But mostly really, really strong strawberries and cream. And I don't really like the strawberries and cream home fragrance scent, so I wouldn't get this one again. Uh, the second, let's do my only Goose Creek. So I'm finishing up that haul I did last year when I got a whole bunch of Goose Creek candles. I burnt this um, like in the winter. It is pumpkin cupcake. Burned well. Um, you can see it's pretty clean. Oh, and then the um, Better Homes and Gardens. Yeah, they sit too. So you can see that. Just overall terrible burning candle. Um, but this one. I haven't had good luck with my goose, goose creeks like people say they do throw well um, I haven't had really good throwing goose creeks so I haven't bought anything from them since my last year's haul even though they have crazy sales all the time and I'm always looking at their website and always wanting to but all the ones that I've had don't grow so I I don't know but this one wasn't very good so it's just it this fall if you, you picture fall when you smell it which is nice but it has a really strong stale stale cupcakey like a really strong stale note on top of the cupcake fall scent and it threw you could smell the stale while it threw so through enough for you to smell the staleness. So I don't recommend this one. I don't know if other people, it smelled like that for other people, but it did for me. So I wouldn't get that one again. I have two sand and fogs. People know I like my sand and fog candles. The I got this one first. 
just like a tiny little one. It is um, in this frosted cute little uh, jar. It is in the scent orange vanilla. It's tiny, it's only uh, four, four ounces. Got it at like TJ Maxx or something. I absolutely loved, I love frosted glass candles. Like how they look, the ambiance, it's my favorite just to have it glow and stuff. And they burn fine. It threw, like I had it on my bed, like end table thing. Um, so it only threw like two or a three. But it, 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 I really like the orange vanilla. It's like a dreamsicle kind of scent. It was really, really, really good. So it was perfect. I like small candles every now and then for to be like right at your bedside or in the bathroom instead of like all these huge large jars. Doesn't really work. And then, um, and then I that was like forever ago. And then. More recent, I saw this one and I smelt it. And when I got it home, I realized that it's the exact same scent that I had with before. Didn't even know that I had bought it the scent before. Because that's how good it is when I smelt it. I was like, I have to have this. But this is huge. And it has this cute, like, seize the day, which doesn't really go with orange vanilla. I don't really understand. I got it at doesn't say where where probably home goods for fourteen ninety nine. This is a big one, so it's let's see how many ounces twenty five ounces and a three wick. So they burn well. Um, throws like four. They're not the sh this one. The scent isn't the strongest. Um, throwing scent so this one was like a four or a five um sorry my daughter's crying okay daughter woke up from a nap she like barely naps so she's going to you can probably hear her in the video uh so where was i i think i was talking about the throw the throw um I don't remember what I said that there was. Did I say it was four? <laughs> it was just okay for such a large candle. Um, but I still really enjoyed it because it was delicious. So that was that huge, massive one. I don't know where to put it. I'll just put it over here. The next one, so then I just have Yankees and Bath and Body Works left. So I'll just do... Bath and Body Works. Uh, let's see. This one is one of my favorites, the Midnight Blue Citrus. Because I haven't been with Bath and Body Works very long, and I think this has been around for forever. It's always out. People are mostly sick of it. Um, but when you're new to it, there's a reason why it's super popular, because people do like it. It's um, all year. Well, maybe not the fall, but um, it is just, uh, let's see what it says. Juicy citrus, fresh spring water, sweet mango. So it's like a sweet, um, fresh, citrusy. I really, really like citrusy. Um, I like all of the set notes. And the packaging is super cute, like orange lids. This whole thing is so cute. So I really enjoyed it. Um, they usually throw pretty, uh, like medium for me for the midnight blue citrus. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, I had a pause because my baby was not having any of it. Um, so I think I finished with the midnight blue citrus candle. So the next one is the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit one. 
it is in like the pink sands um, wavy top it is tropical passion fruit radiant kiwi juicy pineapple um, I don't know how long this one has been around but I first melted it last year when it was in like the rainforest um, destinations one so I didn't ever burn it but I loved it so much and I didn't know it was um, like a every year release kind of thing that's like super popular so I have three currently <clears throat> this one um, it was super strong like it filled up my whole downstairs I have one going in my bedroom right now the same packaging and then I have a different packaging that was for SAS the green one which I the SAS lady um, or the sales lady said that that one doesn't throw very well so I'll have to see but to me this is my top um, like one of my top three favorite Bath and Body Works candles mm -hmm. I think these two are in my top three um, yeah it is just like super delicious the tropical like I, I I'm very partial to tropical scents, so this is right up my alley. It's just very juicy and sweet, um, perfectly pleasant, um, kind of for company, and and it just it's not I don't see it offending anybody like some scents can if that makes sense. So it'll be a repurchase. Can't wait to burn my, my other two or finish burning my other two. Let's see how those do also. And this is the Single Wick Pink Petal Tea Cake. Well, the scent notes is Pink Rose Petals, Pound Cake, Vanilla Glaze. This is the first Pink Petal um, Tea Cake that I've ever burnt. Um, I guess I'm just not a rose girl. Like, I bought it because it's such a hyped candle and people absolutely love it. So I figured um, that's got to be good. But I don't, I can't do it. I just, it's not for me. It's just not. I think any sense of a rose, at least the rose in this, I just did not like. Um, and I could smell it with the throw for the single, the single, um, wick. It burned terribly. Um, it tunneled a lot, but it did correct itself. Um, so you can see the rings and everything. So I just won't be doing pink petal tea cake, but most people like it. That's great. And then I have two from these. The Angel Food Cupcake. It's the blue wax, which is really gross right now. Um, it is white cake, Madagascar vanilla, cherry whipped cream. Oh, it's very smoky and grody <laughs> right now. But I think this was just a light um, vanilla um, scent. You can kind of get the uh, angel food cake kind of vibe from it. So it was pleasant. Um, it's, it's, there we go. It was pleasant enough, but um, I don't think I would repurchase it because it wasn't strong enough. But it is a super cute label. I, I like that line and then this was the first champagne toast I had ever burned um, I didn't burn all of it um, well the scent notes are effervescent champagne sparkling berries and sweet orange yeah I don't know I really liked it on cold and then when it was burning it was like too sweet and I really like sweet scents. 
but it was strong and just really sweet. I will try it again because I don't know if this was just a weird one. Um, but definitely, I'll 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 try another one for sure. But I couldn't even finish it. It was I could not do it. Yeah, so that's champagne toast and that is out all the time. So here is all my Yankees I did. I got all these medium jars at like last year's SAS, like super cheap, free shipping. I got a ton. So I'm just making my way through them. Uh, but this one I got at Home Goods. That's where I get most of my candles. Home Goods, it's the Yankee Candle Key Lime Pie. It is like the really cool um, green <laughs> wax. It burns really clean. Most of my Yankees always burn super clean for me. They don't always burn well. They um, tunnel and then leave the rings behind. You have to let them burn for like eight hours. It did move. It's off to the side. The strength was on my very first burn was like insane like I had it downstairs my downstairs is all open concept and it filled the whole downstairs wafted up stairs and filled my upstairs landing like I was worried because I thought it was gonna be too like it was too strong which is crazy but I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do I can't burn this candle it's too strong so but then on the next like the very next burn it was like almost non-existent set so weird I don't understand it at all so I just burned most of it and then it only it was like yeah like two maybe like you have to be right next to it to smell it I mean the scent is amazing just like, like a really authentic key lime, mm, like dessert. It is very, very, very good. So I don't know if other people, has anyone ever experienced that before with any candle, let alone this specific one? This is very strange. And the next one, I have, I did, so I really, really, really like the White Sage from Yankee. It's might be my favorite um, scent from them. This is the medium jar. Yeah, it's, it's to me, this is super clean. To me, it's very sweet spa scent. And it actually throws, this one throws well, <clears throat> like a six. Um, so I would repurchase this again. It just makes you feel like you're in a spa. It's very nice. And then I like the um, sage and citrus one for the same reason. It's a little more greener with the um, with the the sage is just I don't know a little more greener in this one. I don't get the as much citrus in it. This one set it a little bit. Um, you can see it was like kind of a messy burn. I do put these on my candle warmer. I can see like if there's a ton of oil left over I do like this one I did pretty sure yeah so I think I would I think I like the white sage over this one but they are very very good spa scents and this is Christmas cookie it's the first Christmas cookie I have burned from them I know people really like this one it sitted, this one sitted for me. I don't know why some Yankees sit and some don't. Strange. But this one is a very like buttery, buttery and flaky um, sugar cookie. It's really good. 
um, throw, I had it in my open concept, so it didn't really throw that well. I should have done it in a smaller room, but I don't think like these type of scents usually tend to throw that well. And then the last one is Sugar and Spice. It's burned very, very clean. This one wasn't my favorite. Um, I do get like a fall vibe from it. It's very spicy. Um, but there's something about it that's a little off for me. I don't know if it's like, it has that stale-esque vibe that I got with the, the, um, this one. It's like, it's, I don't know what that is. But it's in it, so I didn't like that part about it. So I wouldn't get this one again. I'm trying not to buy Yankees, but I just, I'm cold, they smell so dang good, and I always just give them another chance because I want them to throw, but then they never do, usually. So I'm, I'm back into Bath & Body Works. I have um, the last, my last video, um, well, this video at the beginning, I was burning the salted pretzel milkshake, which um, was throwing really well. And then now I have the Chow Bella Sweet Tiramisu, which is really good. It's a really sweet vanilla, um, sweet, creamy vanilla. No, no, no coffee at all, which is weird because some people get coffee from it. But this one has zero coffee in it. So that one's very, very nice. But yeah, in my bath and body works, I've been doing good lately. It's awesome. So yeah, this is my um, six month candle empties worth video. I'm going to do more videos now that I'm done with school. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, ciao.